Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Everything okay, teacher? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good to see you again in another session. Let's get started. Now, let's check your uh, objectives for today's session. Uh, remember yesterday we started to talk about reported speak, right? So in today's session, we're going to take an extra practice to reinforce the topic. So today's session principal objective Okay, today's main objective is to is to make a story, okay, using reported speech, using reported speech. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm sending you to small room practice, to a small room practice to discuss what is reported speech about. Let's try to refresh that info as a group, okay? What is reported speech about? Here we go, all right? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Accept the invitations to the small room practice, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I suppose that ah okay. we, we can we can do the 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 story like like the, uh, about that yes oh, about right that. now right now we're just discussing reported speech uh, the okay. story is the main objective of today's session so we're doing different activities until we get to the final task so right now you're just refreshing the information about yesterday's class okay okay teacher okay Okay. So Hi, what is? Hi. Hello. Right now we are Hi, in. Uh... How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Hi, Hello. Hello, Ronald with cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hello, everybody. Hi, Ronald. Hello. So what we're doing is to refresh uh, the information about yesterday's class. What was yesterday's class about? That's what you're discussing right now. Okay. okay. So about requests. Yeah, about requests, about ask, said, and told. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. But we have to refresh. Way, have to the the order. Order. We have to refresh to Angela because she couldn't. It could be the yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't I couldn't be here yesterday. Well yesterday we we uh learned about the use of the word say, tell, um ask. Ask. But using in the past to refer that some 
someone say something, tell told us something, or request us something. So when everybody requests or make a question to you, or like like uh, for the for the speech for the speech. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just talk about what uh, you understand or or what do you think about uh, about the topic. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead, Oscar. I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. Well, what I understand about uh, yesterday class it was when you try to to um, read speech about what someone said to the other ones. You usually said. Um, she told me to you use always the infinitive verb beside the adverb if i'm not wrong but it's when you try to try to recall something that someone have already told to you to the others mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. when we are in the hangar and the chief said we have to remove the flats we have to go to shop we have to see the chair how we're going and in our environment this is how we use the report and speech mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay edwin anything to to say or to add her first experience she was to tell us it's her first time yeah tell us about about my day maybe yeah yeah, what do yeah. you do today? And, well, and, and then we're going to say, what do you do during the day? Well, guys, I woke up at 4 a.m. because I had to be in Ironman at 5 a.m. It was hard. I hate that. <laughs> Believe me. And what else? I arrived there. I ate my breakfast with my boss. He told me the specific procedures to do the movement with FedEx Pilot. Uh, I did some procedures. I sent an email to security. Hey guys, good evening. Hello. Good evening I'm trying to understand that Hi, everybody. <laughs> I understand that you try to speak about what the meaning of causative verbs. No. The report to the speech. Okay. Yeah. What What do you understand? What do you understand about reporting speech, Jan? Reported speech. Reporting speech. Yeah, it's the, it's yesterday's topic. Oh, I know. I, I I couldn't put it any. Oh yeah, yeah. Enough. You were I working. Think, you know? Oh, don't mm -hmm. worry, don't worry. All right, sorry to Mahito is going to tell you what what we saw. Can you listen to me? Can you listen to me? Hello, hello. Oh yeah, teacher. Yeah, all right, yeah. okay. So we're about to play a game right now, and it's called Tic Tac Toe. Do you know that game, Tic Tac Toe? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. No. So what? you are you are the zero, you are the symbol zero, okay? Okay, okay. Group is the symbol zero. Okay, I'm coming back in a few seconds. Okay. okay. And so take my my breakfast, and then uh, prepare the. Hello, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're about to play a game that's called tic-tac-toe. Do you know it? <laughs> tic-tac-toe. <-tac -toe? laughs> nope. Okay, let's no. see. So this is this is a game that we play with 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 a zero and an X. Do you know it? We played with a zero and an X. Okay. So yeah. you are you are the letter X. Okay. This group is letter X. All right. So okay. we're going okay. back. To the main session right now. Okay. okay.
Okay, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now we're about to play tic-tac-toe. The people who are represented by uh, zero is Edwin, Ernesto, Maria Jose, Martin, Oscar, and Janet. You are all the zero, right? And okay. The other group um, whose members are Angela, Georgina, Jorge, Karina, Luis, and Ronald, and Salvador, they are represented by NX. Okay. So, you know, you know how to play the game, right? Now that you see the chart, yes? Okay. So, select one person for every group. Select one person for every group. As I set up the numbers here. Ernesto. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Luis. Ernesto and, and Luis from the other group, right? Okay. So, I'm going to add numbers here to know what exercise I'm giving you. Okay. So this is number six. This is seven. Eight. And then nine. Okay. So you have to select, you have to select the number, okay? so that I know what space you want, okay? So, when you select a number, I give you an exercise, and if you complete it, you get the spot. If you don't complete it, nobody gets the spot. Are you ready? Yes? So, you, could you, so this is you, gonna be via chat. Oh, sorry, I didn't understand. Let's see, one more time. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, could you gonna... repeat the instructions, please? Because yes. I, I, I didn't understand. Okay, every person in every group gets to participate. Okay, but you have to let me know what spot, the space, what spot you want. Okay, for example, if, if I'm participating and I say, okay, I want spot number six. Okay, so this is your plane for this space. Now, when you select the number, I give you a, um, a sentence to report. You have to report the sentence, but okay. only you. If you do it correctly, you get the spot. So I, I assign the symbol of your team in the spot you played for. But if you don't say the, the sentence correctly, okay. you don't get the spot. Okay? Okay, so but we have okay. to report it by chat or, or speaking? Speaking. Okay, okay. Okay, more questions? No? No more questions? No. Okay. So from nope. from the zeros, who's the first participant? From zero? Me. Your name? I want number nine. Say your name, please, because I cannot see. Ernesto. Ernesto, okay. So Ernesto, Ernesto. Number, <laughs> number nine, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so for, your, for your participation in number nine, I say, I say everything, okay, so I say, Clean the apartment. Clean the apartment. Can you report it? Clean yeah. the apartment. Adriana asked me to clean the apartment. Are you sure you have another try? I'm sure. Okay. So, clean the apartment to the other team. Clean the apartment is a question or is a sentence? It's a sentence. It's a sentence. So, in a sentence, a sentence. in a sentence, what verbs can we use? My God. Does he get the spot or not? Yeah, hey, no. this is no. the no. same. Team okay. X wins the spot. It's our turn, teacher. No, but, that, but teacher, that is uh, just a, a test, Will. Ah. Oh, no, they <laughs> were playing already. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, nice, nice try. She's good at She's Mama good at it. She's good at negotiating. Yeah, teacher, but, but I have Ernest, a question. Er, 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 Ernesto get it wrong. So <laughs> you have to yeah, say, it, 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 she says, or mm. she told me. Yes. Okay, okay, but so for me. We have an it, X on number nine, please. But anyway, <laughs> it's, it's well said because Adriana asked me to clean the apartment. No, Technically, it's not a she didn't oh, no, ask no, you. No, she she said she to told you. So it she was not a question. I gave you an order. Yeah, she you told you. 
you understand I'm asking, yep. but literally, I didn't ask you. I gave you an order. Like, I'm your boss. So you say, hey, you okay. said this. Okay. You didn't ask me. Okay, good, good, good. Let's see. So we're going to go with the next participant, which is, who's the next one? Hey, we got the that next one, number nine. Number nine. Uh, you want to play for that spot? But yes? I'm going to give you no, a different, no. a different we, one. We already, we already. Uh, we already correct the, the, the first one. Oh, Ernesto didn't do it. In the previous nice. instructions, I said nobody gets the spot. So until you get your turn. So oh, okay. Okay. So what okay. what who's the next participant? You said me, Salvador. Salvador. Okay. Salvador, what number do you want? Nine? Five. Five. Okay. Salvador. Oh, no, no, number nine. <laughs> okay. Number nine. <laughs> okay. No, but five. I'm I'm gonna change I'm gonna change the, the sentence. Is that okay. okay? Okay. Okay. So, Ernesto. Oh, no. So, Salvador. Sorry. Yeah. Salvador. Yeah, Salvador. Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, to remember your names by the faces. Okay. Show me. Okay. Salvador, show me the new proposals. Show me the new proposals. Show me the new proposals. Okay. And uh, Adriana said uh, that she want to show uh, the new proposals. You have another Hola. try. One more time. Well, show me the new proposal. Show me the new proposals. Yes. Adriana told me to show new proposals. Okay. So this is your final answer. Answer. So this the answer is in the chat. Is this okay, people? I think Adriana told me to show. No, no. Um, uh, Adriana to show, told me to show her yeah, her show yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is, this is, this, this is another English, Chamba. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is, this is another class. <laughs> I would say this is correct. I would say this is correct. Um, he's just missing the word her. But the main, yeah, this is correct. the main message yeah, the is ma understood. The main structure is fine. Yes. So, <laughs> So he gets the point. Very good. So oh, next, right? number nine, Ooh. number nine. We got the oh, point. Number nine, yes. no, no, yeah, number nine. <laughs> yeah, number nine. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now. This is your birthday. Oh. Yes, it's my birthday. Is it? Is it yes. really? Congratulations. Today is my birthday. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you to Chaba. Two eggs. Happy birthday. Good. 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 Sing to Chaba. Teacher. <laughs> All right. Do you want to sing? Yes. All right. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Chambita. We tried, but how, how old are you turning today? How old? My my last 20s. <laughs> oh, so, so you're at 29. 29, yeah. Turning 29 today. All right, congratulations. All right, enjoy okay. your last 20s. Okay, let's go back to the other group. Who goes next? Okay, who goes next for the zeros? Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, what spot do you I'm want, Oscar? It. I'm going to try it. Good. So the spot is number. Um, Remember number the five, idea. Number five. Number five. Okay. So number five. For number five, I have. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Purchase. Purchase more tools. Purchase more tools. Adriana told me to purchase more tools. Okay. Is that correct, people? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's correct. Very good. Okay. Next participant from the other group. Who goes next? From the letter X group. Who goes next? Jorge. Jorge? Yes. Okay, Jorge. All right. Number. Number one. Number one. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. You want this spot? Okay. Let's see. So for number one, I say, 
Don't call me before eight. Don't call me before eight. Don't call me before eight. Adriana told me to, to not call her before eight. One more time. Okay, Adriana told me to not call her before eight. Is that okay, people? Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. No. Sorry. I, I want to, uh, the, the, time over, time over. No, 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 because I only <laughs> say one, one time. No, two times? Okay. Really? But, okay, yes. But, but we have, oh, but, but we what's have your correction? Three, three, what's your correction? Let's see. The, the proposition two is so. not in that. Okay, so how does it go? Tell me. Adriana told me. <laughs> take your time, take your no, time. No. Okay. Adriana told me. Yes, I think so. Okay, one more time. No. Adriana told me. Not call her not, before eight. One more time. Not. Not. Yeah. Not call her before eight. Okay. Is that your last answer? Yes. Okay, I people. Is that correct? Adriana told me not call her before eight. Is that okay? No. Why not? No. Why not? We have to missing another two. It's missing the preposition. Two. Uh, two. So we say, yeah. not to call her, right? Not to call her. Okay, very good, very good. Nice try, nice try. Let's see. Okay. From the zeros, from the zeros, who goes next? Next. Maria Jose. Maria Jose. Maria Jose. What spot do you want? What spot do you want? Uh, number, um, let me check. Number three, please. Number three for the zeros, okay. Arrive early to the meeting. Arrive early to the meeting. Adriana told me to arrive, arrive early to the meeting. Okay, is that your last answer? Wait, wait, wait. Adriana told me to arrive early to the meeting, yes. Okay, is that correct, people? Yes, it is correct, very good. All right. Okay. For the groups represent for the group represented by letter X, uh, who goes next? And what number do you want? The number seven, obviously. Number mm -hmm. seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number seven. All right. So let's see. Ready? Uh, yes, please. The next one. Okay. So number seven says, "Who's who's the participant?" Uh, this is. Oscar, Luis. right? Or Luis? Who is it? Oh, Luis. Luis. Okay. Luis, ready? Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. So we say, can you call me later? Can you call me later? Can you Adriana, call me? Adriana asked me to call her later. Wonderful. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Seven, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, very good. The other group, the zeros, okay. Who goes next and what number do you want? Edwin Cito. Edwin, yeah. Edwin? Number? Yeah, me. Number... <laughs> uh, Ernesto, you are really <laughs> participating. Hey, 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 Edwin Cito. I, I don't know who's next. I don't know who's next. I just <laughs> heard Edwin, Ernestito Edwin, and I answered. Maria, Maria, Maria leave leave the chance. Us. Leave the chance for all Ernesto. No, no. I, yeah. I, I, just, I just heard my name. He's volunteering. Sorry, no. He's volunteering. It was, it was Edwin. There are more people Edwin. in the group. Okay, so who goes next? <laughs> democracy. Democracy rules here. Does it rule here or not? Edwin. Okay, Edwin, so we're saying Edwin. Are you ready, Edwin? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so what number do you want? Number one. Number one, are you sure? Are you sure you want number one? I don't know. Okay, number one. Yes, 
Okay. Here we go. No, no, Edwin, no. So, oh, no, no, she chose. She, she he already said the number. Yeah. Yeah. He already, he already he, chose? He already select the number one, yeah. Number one? No, number eight. No, number one? No, number eight, teacher. Number eight, okay. So, here we go. Okay. Can you buy coffee on your way back home? Can you buy coffee on your way back home? Adriana asked me if I could... If I could what? If I could buy coffee. Can you repeat the example? Sure. Okay. Can you buy coffee on your way back home? Adriana asked me if I could buy coffee on my way home. On my way home. Okay. What do what do people say about this one? What do you guys say? Is it correct? No. Why not? Can I help him, teacher? No. <laughs> Yes. No, from my need, group. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. <laughs> no. Yes. One more try. One more try. Can you buy coffee on your way back home? Try to relax. Try to remember. You know the answer. Adriana asked me to buy coffee on my way home. Is that correct? Oh, I'm gonna choke. Yes. Yes, it's correct, yes. right? Good, very good, very good. Okay, now let's see. Who goes next? Who goes next? From the letter X, who goes next? Karina. Me. Okay. Me, teacher. Karina. Okay. Tell me what, tell me what Tell me what you have in your pockets. Tell me what you have in your pockets. Adriana, ask me. Oh, but the number, sorry, the number. Adri what, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the number two? Number two, okay. So, Adri, uh, tell me what you have in your pockets. It, it's the, the, the sentence. Yes, tell me what you have in your pockets. Um, Tell me your what, what you your have hat. in your pockets. Um, Adriana, Ask me to tell her what I have in my pocket. Okay, is that correct, people? Does it sound okay? No, no, because yeah. it's not a question. Mm. Oh, but can you repeat your answer one more time, Karina? Adriana, um, uh -huh. Adriana asked me to tell her what I have in my pocket. So your observation was that it's not a question, right? Yes. And it's not a question, it's an order, right? Uh, so, okay, I, I will be confused. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry, we're practicing. So okay. the correct way to say it is Adriana? Told, told me. Told, told me? To, okay. Uh, okay. To, to tell her? To show her. Or, or to tell her, yes, tell her, yes. Uh -huh. to, to tell her um, what I have in my pocket. What I had, we transformed the verbs in the past, right? What I had okay. in my pocket. Okay. okay, very good, very good. All right, um, it calls for my attention the way in which, let's see what your name is, Edwin transformed one of the sentences. Ah. This is actually what we're doing right now. Let's, Take a look at our next activity. All right. Now, 
in yesterday's session, in yesterday's session, we learned how to report something that someone else told us, okay, and we used this structure over here, right? Let's just have a quick recap. So they are, look, it says original, what's the word over here? Request. Original. Request. request. And what is our request? What is our request? Can you explain that to me? It is? Something that you asked. Okay. And we have three different ways to request something. So we can make it sound like they are orders I'm giving, you see? Here in a positive way and here in a negative way. Okay. And here in a question form, right? So these are the ways we studied yesterday. We learned that to report something that is uh, in, a neg in a positive context, we say she said to or he told me to. We use prepositions before the actions, right? Okay, and when it's negative, we say he said or she said, they said, okay, depends on the person, it depends on the person. And then we say not to, not to before the verb, right? And if it's a question, the subject pronoun, and the verb asked, asked me, right? Asked me, preposition to, and then the action verb. Are we okay so far? Yes? Okay, or you do you have questions? Okay, right. Now, but what happens when a person says something that is not a request? Okay, what happens, listen to me, when a person says something that is not a request? And, uh, but I still want to report it. So here I have some examples. Look. Okay, these are, these are statements. Look, I'm gonna say here, statements. They are statements and, and information questions. Look, repeat it with me, statements and information questions, information questions. Okay. Statements and information questions. Okay, so in each one of these examples over here, nobody is, is um, giving an order, okay? Nobody's giving an order and nobody is asking you to do something like a favor or like a request, okay? Let's take a look at this. Maria Jose, help me read the examples over here. Okay, I don't eat shrimp. Number two, I love pupusas. Number three, he travels to San Salvador every day. Number four, they can't come here every month. Number five, he drives a minivan to work. Number six, can you sing well? Number seven, can you speak French? Number eight, can, can they come back home? Number nine, can, can he select the new products? Okay, thank you. All right, so you see statements, just information that a person says. Are we okay? Yes? So in these cases, nobody is asking me to do something for them or telling me or giving me an order to do something for them. Okay. So just information, like when we want to gossip. Do you know gossip? Yes, right? It's good, mm -hmm. it's good, right? People like gossip, all right. Now, we're going to try to transform each one of these sentences into reported speech. What do we have to do? We use, she told me or somebody told me, and we use the same structure. Okay, told me or said. And I'm going to type in here. So subject pronoun, told me, or we can say the subject pronoun said. Ah, but guess what? Instead of saying to, because we're not receiving orders, we're going to say that. Okay, look, that, that. All right, let's give it a try. So in number one, subject pronoun is? I don't eat shrimp. Okay, so I am, I am I. So how do you report that to somebody else? So we say, 
She told me. Okay. And then? That she doesn't like. In the past. She doesn't eat shrimp. What is the past of don'ts? Didn't. I'm sorry? Didn't. 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 Oh, past. Mm -hmm. okay. We have to use the past that, word. That but she, didn't. But it, it, is not, it is okay that I put the, the pronoun again. Mm. Oh, yes. You have to say you have to say it again. That she didn't that she didn't eat eat trim. Good. Very good. You got it there. Now, when we report something, it has to go in the simple past form. Good. Okay. I love pupusas. I say it. So how do you report it? He told me. She told me she loves pupusas. She? Loves or, lo or could be in past. Loved. It has to be in loved. past. So? Okay, loved. Loved what? So Pupusas. Good. So, teacher, the, the difference in this in this case is when it is not a request, mm -hmm. uh, you have to put it on pass because in in, in, in in the case of the request, you have to use the infinity way in order that you don't use the past sentence, right? In in the other form, you, you still use the simple past because you said she told me or she said to, okay? Yes, but after, but after that, because you use the infinity way. The infinity form, you, yes. Infinity form, you use it on present, right? The infinity form, it goes in the present form. Now here, here, we say everything in the past, okay? It's like in Spanish when we say, ella me dijo que le gustaban las pupusas, okay? okay? She told me that she loved pupusas. Okay. Now, he travels to San Salvador every day. Okay. I say it. So, he travels to San Salvador every day. How do we tra transform this one? She, she, okay. told, she mm -hmm. told me that she travels. She, she or he? He. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. He? At... at uh, is uh, the first the first one is he too mm, are you sure listen i am saying all this information so imagine i say okay um uh, oscar you know you know maria jose oscar travels to san salvador every day oscar ah, okay. travels okay so so she, she told I got me she told that, me that oscar that he, that or oscar that he, mm -hmm. travel that oscar travel tra travel it. Okay. Travel to San Salvador. So when um when a verb that is regular finishes in the sound l l, how do we make it sound in in the past? It is regular, so it finishes in the sound l, right? Traveled. Traveled. Very good. So one more time, that Oscar traveled traveled traveled. traveled. Travel to mm -hmm. San Salvador every day. Okay, all right, teacher. I I can you repeat why why is she and then he? I I I not got it. Ah. Idea. one more teacher, time. Teacher, there's an e missing. There's a missing e. Yes, sorry. Okay, so Maria Jose, you and I are talking right now, right? Yes. Imagine yes. there's nobody else here. So I say. So I say, Maria Jose, Oscar travels to San Salvador every day. Did you know that? So I come here and I give you some information about someone else. And I just come here with that gossip and I say, Oscar travels to San Salvador every day. Can you believe that? You see, I ah, come okay. and, I re and, I, and I give you some information about somebody else, right? Okay. So in this case, you go, maybe you go to Luis and you say, Luis, Luis. Adriana, Adriana, right? Yes? Okay, I get it. Yes, okay. Thank you. Questions, questions, people, questions, people. Yes, teacher. Tell me, why question. would you? Okay, 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 one by one, okay. Go ahead, Jan. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ernesto. Okay, uh, I have a question. What is this topic exactly? Because I, I, I was, well, we were studying about the infinitive there, but now we have to change 
the, the statement to past why. This is reported speech. Remember it mm -hmm. from yesterday, reported speech. So this is just Can a you way. Can you please to me? Reported speech in English, reported speech. This is when we report, when we report something to somebody else. This is when we want to transmit a message to another person. Okay, mm -hmm. don't try to translate. Don't try to translate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the other forms, why are we using this, this form right now? Look, because the type of information we are discussing, because of the type of information. In yesterday's session, what was the type of information? Request. Request. Now, that's why we have to follow that structure. Now, in this case, we're not making requests. We're just transmitting a message. This is like saying, ella me dijo que no le gustaba comer camarones. Ella me dijo que le gustaban las pupusas. Ella me dijo que Oscar viajaba a San Salvador cada día. Okay. Teacher, so but if you say, ella me dijo que no le gusta. Ah, this is how we say it in Spanish. But the structure in English has to go this way. Mm, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that was my question because I always said, she told me that Oscar travels to San Salvador. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. you notice, but if you notice, we also say it like this in Spanish. Like when you, when you're talking to someone, pero ella me dijo que no dejaba al niño solo, decimos, que no dejaba, existe eso en español. So, so it's the same way we say it in English. But in Spanish, we like to modify the language in so many ways. And that's why we make it difficult for other people to learn Spanish. Uh, but in Spanish, it sounds perfect if we say, ella me dijo que le gustan, okay? And that's correct in Spanish, but not in English. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. so this, this is grammatically correct. And, this, and say it in, in present is incorrect. Of course, okay. if, you, if you say it, like like you're suggesting right now, people mm -hmm. will understand. They will yeah. understand, mm -hmm. but it's not the ideal way to say it. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. more okay. questions? More questions? More, more, uh, more? That that why that's that that was my question. Okay, okay. Thank now, thank you. I come to you and I say he drives a minivan to work. Uh, he Marvin. Okay, so people, people, people. I have an announcement. Marvin drives a minivan to work. How do you report that? She told me she that told Marvin me that. drived a minivan to work. That Marvin, what's the past form of drive? Drove, sorry, yeah. drove. Good, 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 no worries. Drove what? A minivan to work. Okay, very good. Okay, so good. Now, she told, me. Mm -hmm. she told me that Marvin drove a minivan to work, right? Okay. We're going to divide the next block of information here as questions. Look, the next part is only questions. Now, when we have a question that is about information, not a request, take a look at what we're going to use. We're going to use, I need to... To display this again okay okay so in this case we're going to use okay and we say the subject pronoun plus the verb okay asked in the past right and here comes the structure that Edwin used in one of the examples if if Mm -hmm. If, and after if, I'm going to say another subject pronoun, okay? And after the subject pronoun, okay? All right? The in this case, because it's can, you have to put the, the verb in the past, that it is cool. Okay, very good. Okay, the verb in the past form. Okay, repeat it with me. Repeat it with me. Subject pronoun. Subject pronoun. Plus asked. Plus asked. Plus asked. Plus asked. Plus if. Conditional if, right? If. Plus if. If. Plus the subject pronoun. 
plus the subject the pronoun. pronoun. Plus the verb in the past form. Plus, plus the verb in the past form. form. Past form. Okay. Uh, can you sing well? Okay, I asked this question directly to, to Ronald. Ronald, can you sing well? Okay, and then Ronald comes to Marvin and tells him. Adriana, uh-huh. Adriana? Asked. Okay, asked who? Asked. Asked me. Okay, and then? If. Uh-huh. I. Good. If I, verb in the past. Past of can? Could. 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 All right. And then? The rest of the compliment. What is the information I'm asking about? If I could? Sing well. That is in past. Sing well. Sing well. Okay. This is the rest of the information. You see? Sing well. If I could, could in the past, and the rest of the information, simple present. Sing well. Okay. Another one. Another one. Let's follow the structure. Okay. Teacher. Can you tell me? In that case, uh, cool is um, is like a an auxiliary auxiliary verb, and sing is the verb, the action verb, verb. the action. Yes. Okay, that's mm -hmm. why is in the base. In form. the base form, okay. exactly. Very good, very good. Ask your questions. Ask your questions. Okay. Can you speak French? Okay, I say, Maria Jose, can you speak French? Now you report this to the class, and you say. Adriana, uh, ask me. Ask. Uy, uh, uh, here, okay. I just added. If, if okay. I could. Mm -hmm. If I could speak French. Okay. Now. Okay, very good. Now, the next one. Can they come back home? Imagine I'm asking about your friends. Okay, can they come back home? Let's see, how do we report it? Mm -hmm. Adriana asked them if they could come back. Okay, ask oh, them, ask, it depends on the person I ask. Ask them, asked me, asked us, okay. Let's leave ask them. If they okay. could, come back home. could come back home okay all right want a screenshot of these exercises do you want a screenshot yes okay yeah. give me a second yeah because i want to show you another another example before we continue okay so Here, Jorge, the city is having issues with his net. Okay, now, all right, so right now we just have questions with Ken, right? What about questions that don't, uh, that don't include Ken? Okay, so maybe, what if I say, do you have, okay. Okay, do you have a dollar? Give me some other questions in simple present. Do you have a dollar? Tell me, tell me. Can you play soccer? Let's, or... try, let's try not to use can. Questions in simple present that don't include can so that we can study this structure here. Could you bring mm -hmm. coffee? Like to play soccer? Oh, do you? Okay, do you like, right? To play soccer? Okay, another one? Could you bring coffee? Can, all right. What is your favorite type of food? Okay, very good. Okay, what is, okay, type of food. Okay, one more, one more. What is your favorite color? Okay, good. All right. So, Color, right. All right. So, 
I ask you all the questions again. Use me as your subject pronoun. So, do you have a dollar? How do we report this? Adriana? Adriana asked me. Asked me, okay. And then? If to, I if have I, a dollar. I, and the verb in the past, if I? Have. Have. What? Ah. A dollar. Okay, good. Good, okay. Do you like to play soccer? Do you like to play soccer? Okay. Mm -hmm. Adriana asked yes. me if he asked me if I, I like if to I play, like soccer. play soccer. Like if I liked, if play I liked soccer. to play, play soccer. Play soccer. Or, play soccer. Yeah. Okay. If I liked. The first verb, as always, is the one that we transform. Okay. Yep. In, the, in every situation, the first verb is the one that we transform. Okay. okay. Into the past form. All right. Um, okay, like the previous practice, can you drink coffee? Okay, so she? She asked me yeah. if, if, I, I, if I like. Could, uh, if, oh, no, if, if which I could, is? If can I drink coffee? If, if I? I could. Good. If I, if I could, can drink uh, coffee. Drink could, coffee. right? Could, because the question is with can, right? Could drink coffee. Okay, good. Now. <clears throat> the next it's one. Not, it's, it's not a journal asked me which is my favorite type of, of food. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. This sorry. is the, the one we the can yeah, you drink yeah. coffee. Uh -huh. But good. It. What is your favorite type of food? Can you repeat that? Okay, Adriana? Adriana asked me which is my favorite type of food. What? Okay, look. What? Oh, what? what is my favorite type of food? Okay, in this case, we have the verb to be. What's the past? What was? What was? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. But teacher, but, teacher in, in the last sentence, we have to put a question, the sign of question. In the previous so, one. Yes, if I could drink coffee as a question at the end. Oh no! Sorry. Yes. Good observation. Okay. And in the pre, in number one, no, either. Okay. Thank you. So Adriana asked me. Okay. Or Adriana asked. Okay. Now, in this case, we're not using if because it's not necessary. I have this type of information she's asking about. So, what? So, I have to use the subject. Was. I have to use the subject pronoun. So, what is the subject pronoun? What? What am I asking about? <laughs> What is, about my favorite? Favorite. what is my favorite? Okay, what? What is? Mm -mm. No. What my favorite type of food what? was or is? What? Repeat it with me. Adriana asked me. Adriana asked me. Adriana asked. What my favorite type of food? Oh. What my favorite type of food favorite was? Type of food was. 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 Okay. Let's check. Oh, yeah. I understand. Because, because the pronoun in this case is my favorite type of food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Look. So in this case, um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Right. Okay, let me. Yeah. Take a look at these examples. He's American. He's American. She said, he's American. So we say, she said, he? She said, he's American. She is American. American. Mm -mm. She said, she is he American. Was, he was American. He was American. He was. American. So we transform the verb to be. Uh, ella no, ella no uh, deja de ser americano, eh, perdón, él no deja de ser eh, americano, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, Solo lo estamos reportando. He's still an American. But grammar tells me that I have to report it this way. So I have to say, she said he was he American. He was American. Okay, he was, he was American in the past. We transformed the verb to be, you see? Uh -huh. yes. Number two, I'm happy to see you, Mary said. Okay. Mary said, says here, because we need to know the person who says the information. Okay, 
So to transform it, we say Mary. Mary. Said that. Uh -huh. Mary said that. She. That, that she. But was teacher. Happy. Why? Why in the first one you put the, the the, the uh the that. Because I don't know if it's correct to say she said that he was American. It's like when we say in Spanish, que, que. Ella dijo que. Or you can omit it. You can omit it. You can choose not to say it. So it's optional. It's optional, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So Mary said that. Mary said that. She was happy to see me. She was happy to see me. Uh, she was happy to see me. You see? Oh, okay. I am reporting the information. She said that she was happy to see me. Next. He asked, are you busy tonight? And then? Ask me if I, if I, if I was busy tonight. As you can see in this last sentence, tonight. it's still that night, right? Es la misma noche, verdad? So imagine that I, that I come and I call my best friend. So, you know, he asked me if I was busy tonight. Okay, I am reporting the information to my best friend. Okay, and I go like, and I said no. Okay, are we okay so far? Yes? Okay, yes. We're, pr yes. We're, we're processing the information. We're going step by step. You can ask all your questions, okay? And we're gonna solve them. So, do not get frustrated. Do not get frustrated. All you have to think about is, I need to transfer the verb in the past form. That's the main idea, okay? Because I am just reporting something and grammar says it has to go in the past form. Okay, now, let's see if we still have our chart here. Yes, it's still here, okay. Now, the next one. What is your favorite color? Now, in this, in this type of question, what is the subject pronoun? The subject pronoun is usually what I'm asking about. What is the subject pronoun? Is. Oh, no, no, no. no. Is it? Is a, a... It is a verb. Okay. What is the subject your, pronoun? The color is your favorite. The favorite color. That is the subject pronoun. It is a thing, right? It's not a person. It's a, it's a thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is my subject pronoun. Okay. Now that I know what my subject pronoun is, I'm going to transform it and I'm going to say... She, all right, she. She asked me. Mm -hmm. What what was my mm -hmm. favorite color what, was? What my favorite color? The subject pronoun goes first, right? My favorite. Favorite color, color was. Color was. One more time. She asked me, she asked me. She asked me what yes. my favorite color was. <laughs> My favorite color was. Okay. Are we okay so far? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm going to let you walk alone right now. The first activity, I'm sending you a screenshot of this one too. Okay. So I told you that today we were working on a story, but the, the topic is to extend that we will not get to, to work on the story. We'll leave it for tomorrow. Okay. What I care about is that you master the topic because you guys speak good English and this is very important so that you can do it naturally. All right, so. Teacher. Tell me. I just have a question. Tell uh, me. We, we, uh, in the last one. In, in this uh, one. The previous, yes, in the previous one. Uh, we always, uh, when, the verb, uh, when the verb is be, mm -hmm. we always put at the end of the sentence. You, right. you, you follow that rule if you are not talking about an adjective. You can follow that rule if it's not an adjective. Look, let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Let's see. Look, in this case we have, can you see my screen? Yes. Sorry. Yes, okay. So look at this one. He asked me if I was busy. Look, adjective. She, she, she said that she was, what's the adjective here? Happy. Aquí si nos fijamos, hay un adjetivo, entonces por eso no terminamos con el verbo to be al final, ¿sí? Ok. Sino que terminamos con el adjetivo y, y el complemento. Are we okay? Yes? Yes. 
Thank you. Yep. But, but here, but here, there is not an adjective here. You see, there is a subject pronoun. Yes. So okay. that's why we have to finish with the verb to be here. Are we okay? Yes. Okay. Teacher. Okay. So the last activity for today's class. Now, I'm going to give you an exercise and it says, okay, a mixed combination of, what's the first question? Do you? Do you have a horse? The next one? Does she speak Italian? The next one? Can you cook? cook? Okay, give me questions, give me questions. Oh, okay. What time is it? Okay, good, good one, <laughs> good one. All right, it's time to Do go. Do you have a car? Do you have a huh? car? A, a car. car. Mm -hmm. How many siblings do you have? Good. Is it okay? Oh. Yes, it's perfect. Yes, siblings. Do you have? Okay, very good. Okay, um, sentences, sentences about information, sentences. I have a dog. Okay. Another one? Joshua is a good inspector. Good. <laughs> is it true? Is it true? Yes, it is. Yes, sure. All right. Is that, is that <laughs> good? Yo, yo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. All right. Joshua is a good inspector. Anything else? Statements. Statements. Give me information. Oh, describe your classmates. Tell me something about your classmates. Now that you're flattering, do you know flatter? Flatter? No. Yes, yes. It's when, when a person says something good about you. They say, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you know so, mu so much. You know so many things. And you go like, so people are flattering you. Flatter. It's a verb. Mm -hmm. It's an action. All right. Very good. Okay. I'll Tell me. Salvador is a smart classmate. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's enough. Okay, so this is your task right now. <laughs> report it, report it to your classmates. Okay, as a group, work together. Okay, and let's report this information right now. And this is gonna be the last task for today's class, okay. And after today's session, you will be able to do homework uh, in the platform. So here we go. Okay, can you see my screen? <laughs> yes. Yes, my <laughs> Okay. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> it was a nice, nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, number one, uh, do you have a horse? What do you think? Mm, well, um, I think is Adriana or she told. Yes, you. yes, that's, those are a statement, yes. right? Yeah. Oh, she okay. asked, sorry. Ask me if if I if have, I have uh, ha, if I have, have or have, or had a have, course, yeah. Have yeah, in have. past yeah in past form yeah. yes no oh uh, what do you think if we said if if we say Adriana ask me if I did have a horse no not I did if I have. If yeah, I had best. a horse, yes. Did I don't, I don't believe is it is the right up. I, I think it's had. It's like had. Marvin said. But we have the auxiliary. No, because oh. do do you is, is is the form to to make a, a question. It's not mm -hmm. necessary the, the the main verb. The main mm -hmm. verb. The sentence is is have. So. That's why I'm, I think, had. Check the structure. Don't get confused. Don't get confused. Oh. You have the structure in the chat. Check it. Okay. okay. Ask her, ask her if, or. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. I think she asked about her, about mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, Adriana mm -hmm. asked me if she spoke if Italian. She Mm -hmm. yeah okay. Georgie hello I'm here hi Georgie can you help us with number three of course Miss Spanish is parientes so Understood. But there is a request because he want he wants an information. I I'm sorry. Hey, what did you say to, about the answer? She asked me to tell her how many siblings did I have. No, how many siblings so I had. I, I, I had, yeah. She asked me to tell her, no, but not to tell her because the answer, the question is for you. Not, not, I think, I think, I don't know. How many siblings does she have if, if we have to tell her? But it's for you. How many siblings do you, in this case, I think. How many siblings did I have? Did, did I have? Check the previous examples. 
go check a question that's similar to the one you're working on right now. Okay. And tell me if you see did in any of those questions. No. Oh, how, how many? She asked me how many. How many mm -hmm. siblings? What goes then? How many siblings? She asked me. What is this? Mm. What goes after? Yeah, play, play the play the same the same image. Can you show me? Okay. What goes after what? In the one that says Adriana asked me what my favorite type of food was. What goes after what? The subject. The subject, right? So after what goes the subject? So how many is similar to what, right? Because it's a WH question word. So let's go back mm -hmm, to the mm -hmm. to the next example. How many siblings? Huh? Subject pronoun. How many? Yeah, how many siblings? How many siblings? And mm -hmm. what goes after that? I had. Yes, I had. Very good. Okay. I got in pass. Next. Let me check. Salvador. Salvador is a smart classmate. Uh, call me. Una cuca. Ah. <laughs> uh,
Okay, help me out with your mics. Thank you. All right. Ready, here we go. Do you have a horse? How do we report that? Do you have a horse? She asked me if I had a horse. Perfect. So I'm going to type it here. Okay. Awesome. Number two, number two says, does she speak Italian? Does she speak Italian? She, she asked. asked. Okay, go ahead. Go, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It should be the same answer. So you can say it all together if you want. She asked okay. me. Okay. Mm -hmm. If, if, if she, she spoke, spoke Italian. Italian. If she? she spoke, spoke Italian. 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 Awesome. Very good. Good. Two points. Can you cook? Can you cook? She asked she me asked if me I could cook. cook. If, I could. if I could. If I could cook. Good. Um, what time is it? What time is it? She asked me what asked me. time it was. Time it was. Good. Uh, yes, what time it was. Perfect. Okay. We have another another answer for that. What do you have? Uh, she asked me to tell her what time it was. You could say that. You could include it. Okay. But it's like saying, eh, me preguntó decirle. It's like a little redundant. Redundant, a okay. little. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. let's see. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? She asked, she asked, me, she asked me if, if I, I had, had a car. car. Good. Um, how many siblings do you have? This was this one was a little confusing. She asked me yeah. how many yeah. siblings do I have? Okay, how did, many siblings? Did, yeah. Do, mm. Did I have? But you know, this one doesn't sound like a question. Like you made the observation. It's it's not like a question. You are just reporting the question. So in yeah. none of our previous examples did we use did in none of the previous mm -hmm. examples. Right? As an she auxiliary. asked me how many siblings I have. Good. No auxiliaries here. Mm, okay. Okay. Good. Um, I have a dog. I have a dog. She said. Mm -hmm. She told me. She, she said. She, told me uh, okay. she, she had a dog. She told me is good as well. Okay. If you want to say that is good, if you don't want to say that is good as well. Yeah. So she told me. She said. She said. She, she, she had she a, dog. a dog. Good, very good. Okay, um, Joshua is a good inspector. He said, he said that Joshua was a good inspector. She said, like when we say tengo sed en español, right? She said that. She said, Joshua. Joshua, that Joshua was, was a good inspector. What's up? What's up? What's up? Good inspector, right? Like was uh, inspector. Uh, <laughs> okay, and the last one. Salvador. Salvador is a smart classmate. So he told. He said. He said. Yes. She that said. Salvador that, uh, was was a smart, smart classmate. Classmate. He's a bell one. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> very <laughs> good. <laughs> <humble. laughs> And he was very humble, right? Very good. Okay, good. Now, tomorrow, okay, tomorrow we're doing something similar to reported speech, more more action, all right? Today we took some time to check it in structure, to understand it, all right? Now, I'm very pleased with the result. So here we go. Let's take your attendance so that you can go get your dinner or go to sleep. <laughs> or... 
play video games, spend time with your family. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. Okay, sorry. Okay. Have dinner. Have dinner or cook dinner. Or is, is dinner ready when you finish class? I wonder. Yeah. Is it ready? <laughs> is it ready? Yeah. Pupusas. Yeah, yeah. Pupusas. 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 Fast food. Fast, Fast food. food. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand. Chambita pizza. Minimo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chambita pizza. If you can afford oh. it. That's oh, I right. think it will be tomorrow, my <laughs> celebration. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think. That sounds good. Okay, let's see. Hector Arenales. <clears throat> if you guys notice that somebody wrote uh, something to the group and I and I haven't checked it, I would appreciate it if you told me. So, all right. So, uh, okay, I don't see any message from Hector. So, he's missing. He's missing, yes. Uh, Ernesto Cruz. Here. Jorge El Cid. Jorge, Jorge, ah, Jorge. He Jorge's problem. having issues, yes, but he he was here. Karina yeah. Escobar. I'm here. Janet Estrada. Present teacher. Edwin Fabian. Hello. Josue Flores. Present. Martin Flores. I'm here, teacher. Ronald Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Marvin Hernandez. Here, teacher. Silvia Hernandez. He, she misses me. Okay, thank you. Luis Lara. Here. Georgina Lopez. Here. Jonathan Ramos. Uh, no, okay. Salvador Rauda. Here. Salvador, Salvador, Angela yeah. Renderos. Here. Germán Rivera. I don't see him oh. here. Okay. Yeah, he means. Oscar de Jesus Rivera. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar was here. I saw him. Yeah, Oscar, yeah, Oscar, was, Oscar here. was here. Yeah, yeah okay. Oscar was here. All right. So, um, Maria Jose Salvador Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. So, that's it for today's session. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a great happy birthday, Chambita. Bye. Have Thank a birthday. you so much. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> good night. Good night. Bye, good night, everybody. Happy birthday, Bye. Good night. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.